What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, new videos coming every week. You don't wanna miss them. This video today, I'm gonna to be talking about picking a medical specialty based off of your personality. For those who are unaware in your third and fourth year medical school, that's when most people decide on a specialty. And it's usually after you do your clinical rotations. Some people go into medical school and know exactly what they want to go into. Other people like myself are late decision makers and decide kind of towards the end of medical school. So, and I decided, I didn't decide until I was in the end of my third year when I had to make a decision. But in medical school, there was some talks from my professors that they, uh, suggestions that they gave us in terms of picking a specialty and I have other videos about picking it based off of uh, passion you know prestige money and then lifestyle but to pick a specialty based off personality I came across this really hilarious kind of flow chart and I'm gonna go over it with you guys but essentially when you don't know what specialty you want to choose if you're in medical school or if you before you even get into medical school, you're just trying to decide what you want to go into, you can use this flow chart and it's pretty hilarious uh, And when you're trying to decide. So it starts at the top here where it says, I don't know what specialty to choose. So if you ask your, yourself, like, what's the problem? Whether you like everything, which in my medical school, when I was doing my rotations, you know, I love, you know, I didn't love, I like internal medicine. I liked urology, I liked ENT, I liked you know, dermatology. I liked a lot of aspects from various um, kind of specialties. And I enjoyed working with my hands, kind of surgery too. So if you like everything, then family medicine may be the uh, best uh, specialty for you. Just because you can do pediatrics, uh, you can see infants all the way up to their 100, you know, you know old elderly patients. You can deliver babies, they train to do, the, to do that. You know, the downsides of family medicine is that it's, um, you know, the pay is not there as well as, uh, but you have a good lifestyle and um, you can spend time with your family and do things that you like to do outside of medicine. So if you don't like anything, but your grades are kind of mediocre, it asks you, do you like people? If you're not willing to touch them, you can go into psychiatry. Uh, these people, you do a lot of talking and communication and, and uh, prescribing medications rather than doing things with your hands. But if you like touching people, you can do physical medicine and rehab, which is physiatry. That's a good field to go into, relatively new field. And I have a couple friends that actually do that as well. Um, if you don't like people, you can go into pathology. Pathology is a field where you don't really interact with patients. You go into a lab, um, you can if you like, and which is really rare, but uh, you go into a lab, look at slides, come up with diagnoses. You can you go into the operating room sometimes. Sometimes we call the pathologist in the room to review a, you know, a specimen that we're trying to decide what type of cancer it is. So um, that's an option for you. If your class hates you, <laughs> Uh, do you like to cut? But, um, and if you like to cut, like you like to use your hands, um, next question is what do you like to do in your free time? If you like to drive shiny cars around LA, you think about people going plastic surgery, you know, they do really well, they have really good lifestyles. Or if you like strip clubs in your free time, this is uh, orthopedics and I'm not really <laughs> sure why that is. I don't know why, but, uh, and if you like penis jokes, urology, I didn't want to be called a penis doctor all my life, so that's the reason why I didn't choose urology. And if you like operating in your free time, neurosurgery, you know, residency at seven years. I have another video I just put up about a neurosurgeon I just interviewed, uh, and she's like a PGY9 or something like that, it's crazy. So if you like operating in your time, you will be at the hospital a lot, go to neurosurgery. Uh, if you don't like to cut, if you're socially awkward, you can go into radiology where you have minimal interactions with patients, uh, but you can do like interventional radiology where you do a lot of procedures. Um, if you're not socially awkward, you can, if you have a fake entrance and really <laughs> rashes or 
or different types of skin diseases, you can go into dermatology. If you like eyes, you can go into ophthalmology. Um, if your grades are okay and you are a huge nerd or just average, if you like kids, you can go into pediatrics, which is three years. Uh, the downside of pediatrics, you know, the pay is not there. One of the lowest paid specialties in medicine. What do you think about kids? They smell. What do you think about sleep? Um, you, if you need sleep and you have ADHD, <laughs> you go into emergency medicine, you know, lifestyle, which is uh, pretty, the burnout rate is pretty high in emergency medicine. You just don't see a lot of older physicians in this field. Uh, so there's a lot of, um, you know, uh, burnout in the, the field of emergency medicine, but um, crazy lifestyle as well. And do you still not know what to do? You can do internal medicine, which is a component of everything. So, and I also skipped this one here, general surgery. So how do you, how do you feel about sleep? If you think it's for the week, what do people say meow when they see you? <laughs> you can go into OB or uh, general surgery. So, or if you like operating in your free time, neurosurgery, general, general surgery. So lifestyles of these two, neurosurgery and general surgery, are pretty, um, they can, it's all about what you make of it, but you know, these generally have um, really busy lifestyles. So I thought this was a really hilarious kind of flow sheet in terms of trying to pick your specialty, uh, but find out what interests you the most, you know, why, uh, where do you see yourself in the long term, Tw 20 years down the line, 30 years, what do you see yourself doing? You have to find something that at the end of the day, you're gonna wake up and wanna to go to work every single day. So, and for me, that was orthopedics. I have some other videos about why I chose orthopedics, how to choose a specialty, definitely check those out. But uh, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. We'll see you next time.